How's it going guys? Today we are going to be making a breakfast skillet. It's super easy to whip one of these up on a Sunday morning and they taste great. I'm going to be doing a pretty simple version but you can add in any ingredients as you want. It's a pretty hard one to mess up here. Before we start I just want to say before you cut your potatoes soak them in cold water for a couple hours. This helps get some of the starch out and prevents sticking during frying. I unfortunately didn't have enough time to do this and my pan did pay dearly. But enough disclaimers, let's get right into it. For this you'll need a few tablespoons of olive oil, about four medium sized potatoes. You can use whatever potatoes you prefer, but I like to use Yukon Gold. They do a good job of getting a nice crunchy layer on the outside while staying tender on the inside. You'll need some green onions or scallions, some pancetta or bacon. I ended up using the whole 150 gram package, but like I've said before, you can't really have too much bacon. Some cheddar cheese, salt and pepper to taste, two cloves of garlic peeled, and four eggs. Start by peeling your potatoes. This is where if you have time, I would soak the whole potatoes in water for a few hours. It'll ensure they end up extra crispy as a finished product. It's still gonna work if you can't, it may just be a bit more messy. Cut the potatoes into tiny cubes, about three quarters of an inch, and set aside in a bowl for now. For the green onion, just cut two of them into thin slices. It will definitely add some flavor here, but I'm mostly putting it in for the color. You're going to want to roughly mince the garlic. Unlike the green onion, this is purely for flavor. Apparently this is a barbaric way to open up a brick of cheese. If you ask me, it's just called efficiency, but what do I know? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Grate about a cup of cheese and set our ingredients aside. Coat the bottom of a large non-stick pan with olive oil over medium heat. You're going to want to make sure the pan is nice and hot before throwing in your potatoes to start cooking. I ended up throwing in a bit of butter here to try and help with the sticking, but you can see it pretty quickly getting out of hand. Like I said, I recommend soaking them first. Stir your hash browns every so often, allowing them to crisp up a bit in between. Try helplessly to save your pan before adding in the garlic and pancetta, or when the hash browns start to brown and become tender, whichever applies more to you.
Once the pancetta has started to render out some of its fat, create four little beds within the hash browns. Crack an egg into each of these beds and sprinkle cheese and green onions in between. Place the pan into an oven preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. If for whatever reason it hasn't browned on top by then, you can broil it for about 30 seconds. You want to be careful not to overcook the eggs as they become kind of rubbery, so just keep an eye on it. Season generously with salt and pepper before scooping some out into a bowl. I recommend seasoning after it's been in the oven. If you season beforehand, and especially the eggs, the salt will absorb a lot of the moisture we are trying to keep in the dish. And all that's left to do now is enjoy. <laughs> really hot, though. Really good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was really hot. Maybe you should have, you know, let it cool down a bit. Oh, yeah, probably. That was really good, though. I'll give it a seven. I think the eggs are too overcooked. It would have been nice to have some, like, run out. Overall, pretty good. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys next week.